All right, next we've got Kendrick Lamar, um, classic leathers. Uh, Kendrick Lamar was with Reebok for a while, and he put out some pretty good shoes with them, uh, and then switched over to Nike. And now he just doesn't, he hasn't really been putting out much of anything. Um, this is a cool shoe because this side is blue, and this side is red. We can get a good view of that so uh these are called split personality um and it uh is inspired by uh gang violence i don't know if that's the most the best way to to word that sentence but these are yeah inspired by uh not necessarily gang violence but the but the reconciliation of uh of issues in a neighborhood Next, I've got um, Saucony uh, G9 Shadow Sixes. Um, these are these are pretty smooth, very very premium um, veg tan leather on them. And uh, I had been intimidated by this colorway because it's just the leather um, for a while, and then I pulled the trigger because they're having a sale on Saucony's website and they also still honor my military discount which is just incredible um but I think I might be able to do these in the this summertime and see how they how they wear over time um so this would be a good wear project uh for me going forward okay next I've got Thunder 4s um really fun pair bright uh really really great i think these released in 2012 um we're seeing minimal cracking which is awesome for a pair of fours um this old uh you know not much to really say about them they're black and yellow just a great great pair okay next i've got a great pair from Saucony. not a uh not a collab these are the grid sd in a um the public gardens colorway um i just love how rich the green is on this on this pair and i definitely got my fair uh fair share of wares um with these in the fall uh just a great great pair great materials used by Saucony. okay next i've got uh chrome six lows um these are fine. Uh, this is one of the last pairs I bought before before moving back to Indianapolis from Virginia. Um, Ex girlfriend got them for me. I think she told me if if I stop if I could stop talking for like five minutes, she'd buy them for me. Um, which is which <laughs> you know she's a sucker for that one. But I definitely I definitely appreciate having this pair. I think I can make these still work. Um, but again, we see this, this blue sole, not as bad as we've seen in the past. Um, but still, uh, I like to see that age a little bit more. Next, we've got Complex's sneaker of the year, the Sakai Waffle. Um, these are just nuts. Um, saw Megan Rapino wearing them a lot during the Women's World Cup. Well, not during it, like, but in between matches. Um, and these are just incredible. I love this. I love this shoe. I love what they did. Um, definitely the sneaker of the year, in my opinion, for, uh, for 2019. All right, I've got Black Toe Ones. Um, just a, a great colorway. Not, um, these are not the... Uh, last pair that dropped these are the ones from I think 2013 um, but still they've gotten a, a pretty good deal of wear um, but yeah just a, a great pair of, of ones all right we've got a pair of uh, white cement fours um, you know these are not the pair that that released uh, earlier or late last year or the last pair that they're not the last pair that released I believe these are from 2012 um great pair we see the aging on the uh, on the netting and we can see the aging on the tongue uh on that tag up on the tongue but still 
just a great pair to have in the collection still wear them uh, just a great great shoe all right next i've got uh thunder 14s um definitely a an impulse buy uh we saw the fours earlier and i just i don't feel like i need these in my collection um i'm pretty sure i've never worn them or if i did wear them i only wore them once uh yeah these do not look worn maybe just try it on inside um a lot of people don't mess with the 14s i think they're fine uh but you know this pair was definitely definitely uh forced <laughs> next we've got pine green uh ones from last year with the shattered backboard color blocking um, i've got the pair that dropped this year we'll see them later but um these are these are just incredible uh, i need the purple i need the court purple in this colorway as well or excuse me in this color blocking as well another great pair of ones um in my opinion um the obsidians that dropped this year or last year <laughs> i can't remember um but you know i love the, the dark blue hits i love this this carolina blue on the back um i think you know in a couple of years these prices on these are going to skyrocket so uh so you know watch out for that a great pair of ones nonetheless all right we got 2011 black cement threes um i think a real sneakerhead needs this shoe in their in their collection and i hesitate to say that because i don't like telling people or trying to tell people like what they should and shouldn't wear but this if you're into jordans i think you've got to have or at least be trying to get this sneaker this is just a great great pair um they've aged nicely we we saw the we see the uh the chipping the paint cracking in the middle um you know it's definitely got some character in them and this is the shoe that it looks good beat up um so this is another rainy day shoe for me um so yeah just a a great pair i don't need the nike air on the back um but i have been looking for a pair um it's just not just not necessary but i love this pair all right next we've got uh 11 lows not a huge fan of 11 lows but this um this colorway has um has been an exception um this tuxedo colorway uh they've been aging great um i was able to buy them from my boy coleman um he uh let me have them after he wasn't he was kind of done wearing them and of course he didn't he didn't uh tax me for them so <laughs> appreciative of that all right we're back to asics with this offspring pair um i really really enjoy these uh i like i think these are called the convent gardens um but i really like these these are actually great for the fall even though we've got blues and purples in them um you know these are just a a phenomenal phenomenal shoe all right we've got a Saucony collab with epitome out of atlanta uh great shoe i love the fish scale on the toe box um just a uh a really really great shoe i was able to kind of clean them up a little bit um with a suede eraser and brush they look a lot better than they did uh, a couple weeks ago um but yeah i'm really excited to wear these this summer all right next we've got stealth threes um this is a this is a, a cool pair of jordans for a lot of these a lot of people these are a nostalgic pair um but you know other than that i don't i'm not i don't really think people are really feeling these when they released um let me look at the year these released uh 2011 so um yeah still a good pair in my opinion in 2020 um but i think these just represent nostalgia for a lot of people all right black cement fours or bread fours or playoff fours or whatever you want to say um 2012 release i got them early uh funny story about these i wore them to a redskins game and the tailgate area so the redskins stadium like at or i think it's fedex field is um is like in the middle of nowhere <laughs> and um we walked through like 
woods to get to the stadium from where we're tail tailgating at and um, walked through the woods and knees and I thought that they were just beat right when I right after I got them but I mean these are still very very good pair uh, eight years later so uh, happy to have them didn't need the last pair that came out um, they look too stiff um, I absolutely love these all right we've got black grape fives um whoever sold these to me definitely got them wet um <laughs> these are uh they're not bad i mean you don't see a whole lot of them they're aging nicely but you can see right up there near the uh near the collar um it looks like water damage it looks like somebody tried to clean them with water maybe um i can't really tell but still still a great pair um I'll break them out sometime because like I said you don't really see a whole lot of these all right next we've got a really really fun shoe um, I gotta I gotta thank my man uh, Rizzo for putting me on um, to the sneakers and stuff uh, milk crate athletics and uh, New Balance collaboration um, these are just phenomenal in my opinion uh, really 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 great shoe really really fun shoe Next, I've got a pair of Air Max 1s. Um, these are the Animal Pack. Absolutely had to have them. I struck out on every raffle I entered. Um, and uh, and I, I paid resale for them. <laughs> and I'm not ashamed. Uh, absolutely love these. This is, a, this is just an incredible pair. Um, I'm not too big on the Air Max 95s that came out with these, but uh, but maybe maybe I'll get them one day. Um, but you know, I'm not. I'm in no rush to to get those. All right. Next, I've got a uh, collaboration between Ubic and um, New Balance. Uh, these are called the Benjamin, and they use their 1600 model. Um, I really, really like this pair of shoes. Very patriotic pair. Uh, Ubic is out of uh, Philadelphia, so they're definitely paying homage to their um, to their city with these with uh, these Benjamin Franklin inspired shoes. All right, next I've got one of the, in my opinion, the best Jelly Fives of all time. Definitely the best Jelly Five in my collection. Uh, collaboration with Commonwealth out of uh, Virginia. Um, these are the Da Vinci's. Absolutely love these. Very subtle, but um, great, great colorway. All right, these are a uh, a collaboration with Kith of the FYWS97. Um, you know, I didn't <laughs> I didn't need these, um, but I bought them when they uh, when they released. Um, I don't think these sold out right away and I still think you can get these for a pretty good uh, price on GOAT and StockX if this is your style. Um, I can make these work but it just takes a little bit more brain power. <laughs> Alright, to be honest, um, I had forgotten about these um, until I started going through them and uh, this is a great, great pair from End and New Balance on the 878. These are called the Gray Goals, um, like G-U-L-L-S, like Seagull. Um, really fun pair. You really don't see a lot of 878s, um, and I'm really happy that End and New Balance took on the task of, of bringing them back in a, in a really, really good colorway. Next, we've got the uh, Ronnie Feig GT2 in the Brazil colorway. Um, these released when the uh, Rio World Cup started I really like these a lot um, you don't really see a whole lot of GT2s either um, but Ronnie Fike he definitely did a great job on these all right so we've got um, Air Max pluses um, in this blue colorway um, one of the original colorways um, I sold a lot of these at Foot Locker a lot of Air Max pluses when I worked at Foot Locker um, a year ago <laughs> and um you know i i was tricked into thinking i needed a pair and so here we are a year later i've still got these in my collection 
Um, still a great color, but you know, I can, I can live without these. All right, I've got another Ronnie Feig collaboration kit with a uh, high snobiety um, and Puma. If I can get this thing to focus a little more, there we go. Um, so these are these are a fun pair. It's on their Blaze of Glory um, model. Uh, very very comfortable shoe. That insole is quilted and it's just a really really good shoe um, I'm not really a big fan of the other shoes that came in in that collection but uh, these are definitely great um, the packaging is a lot uh, they've got this box that you're seeing now um, and there's a bag inside of it and then that box goes in another bag so it's a lot to get these out but uh, definitely worth it <laughs> when you when you do get them out Next, I've got an off-white uh, Nike uh, pair of Waffle Racers. Um, great shoe. Uh, a lot of people slept on these, and I don't blame them. This is a kind of an intimidating shoe. It was a woman's release, um, but uh, I kind of had a, a nice little vision for these, and I have made them work. So I really like these. They uh good conversation starters um and i love what virgil's doing with these uh with these this wide lacing system that he's got going on all right i've got fire red fives from 2012 <laughs> these literally just released yesterday um again and these have been worn once this pair right here has been worn once um i have been waiting for, as a matter of fact, I said 2012. I'm thinking these are actually 2013. Uh, these also had that blue sole that I don't like, and we can see that they're aging. They're starting to age finally. Um, and I like the yellow on there. Um, but yeah, so these have been, these have had two different releases, and these have been worn once. So <laughs> pretty, pretty pleased with that. Had them in the collection for a long time. Okay, this is my own personal uh customized new balance 574 uh part of their nb1 um program which is their uh customization feature um i like them i model these after the the salmon toes um which we will see later on spoiler alert uh but these are definitely, I'm, I'm pleased with these. Um, I kind of panicked and put my name on the back when I think I would have been better served uh, putting nothing <laughs> right there. Nobody cares. My name's on the back of my own shoe. But um, yeah, these are, I'm happy. I'm, I'm pleased how these turned out. And uh, it's, a, it's a great shoe. All right, these are a uh, Gel Light 5 from Sabotage and Kick Slab. Uh, these are called the Fizz Ed, um, and I like them. I like the quilted uh, toe box. I like the different shades of browns and greens and stuff like that. Great for the fall. Um, it has a patch up on the tongue. Well, it doesn't really have a tongue, but on that front part of the collar, you can see that's a, a Velcro patch you can take off. But this is a it's a a clean pair of shoes. Great collaboration. All right, Air Max One Twenty. Um, I really, really like these. I think that these are an underrated shoe because I'm pretty sure you could get these at that uh, Foot Locker discount store on 10th Street across from Ben Davis. <laughs> um, but these are just a really, really fun shoe. I love that spider web type design around the uh, around the forefoot and the color is great. Um, just a really underrated good shoe that um, We'll get some compliments. I got gotten some compliments in these, and I paid a very inexpensive uh, price for these. Next, I've got a collaboration between Puma and Colette and uh, Kith and Ronnie Feig um, on the Disc Blaze. Uh, this has this great lacing system where you just turn that dial there, and um, it tightens and loosens the shoe. Really, really fun great shoe i love the colors i love the blue that colette uses um we're gonna see a pair of uh, blaze of glory here in a little while that are that utilize that same blue but uh all over the shoe um but yeah this is just a great collaboration with uh with puma and uh ronnie feig and uh colette 
All right, I've got a pair of Stan Smiths right here, basic white and green. Um, this is, if, if you are somebody who is not into sneakers, um, but you still like looking good or having a pair of sneakers that you really don't have to think about, like, am I, uh, is this a nice pair? Like, this is the pair to get right here. Very slim pair, very classic silhouette. Um, and there are different iterations of the Stan Smith. Um, uh, there are even different iterations of this classic white and green colorway um, But I think that this is the one to go to and then you kind of branch from there We're gonna see later on a another pair that I have that's a little bit more uh, hoity-toity <laughs> if you will um, But yeah, this this shoe right here. You could wear this all summer. You can matter of fact on concepts um, you can see about getting a pair but these are always in style these have been in style for years um, so definitely if you don't have a pair you definitely need to get a pair of these all right we've got Toro fours um, these are these are fun because I won these in a raffle um, at Lafayette Square Mall while I was on leave uh, from Virginia I'd come home to Indianapolis to I think it was just for the summer uh, for a couple weeks in the summer on leave see my parents and stuff like that and I won these in a raffle and I was very very pleased um, and I really really like this pair this pair still gets a lot of matter of fact people are talking about retroing this pair um, they want to see this pair retroed and this pair still looks pretty new <laughs> um, but yeah this is an excellent pair of fours uh, and I'm very very pleased to have them all right so kamikazes reebok worn by sean kemp um <laughs> i was excited about these when they released um you know because they're a very very interesting shoe and i rushed after work to patrick henry mall in newport news virginia and i was just praying that they still had a pair in my size and they had they did <laughs> um and that's you know here we are you know eight years later seven years later um and i still have them so not really much you can do with these in 2020 but you know just something okay to have in the collection okay next i've got um the pharrell williams solar hue nmd um these had a nice little run but uh not really you know you can you can find these really uh almost anywhere online not this particular colorway but um other colorways this pair you can definitely get for under retail though on goat and StockX, i believe next i've got um the easy 500 blush uh this is a, it's a real fun shoe um it really it goes with everything and you know it turns heads of people who know about sneakers and who don't know about sneakers just because of the the shape on here um and the different uh textures that go into the shoe uh this is just a i think it's a really great shoe i was really high on it when um when pictures were released and they were being called the desert rats um but i really do uh i really do appreciate this shoe next i've got he got games from uh this is the 2013 release still in phenomenal condition um especially for the amount of times that i've worn these um these are definitely much better than the uh most recent release um and uh because i sold <laughs> a lot of that more recent release at flow locker um this is just a great shoe uh you know from from a really really great movie this is a shoe that jake shuttlesworth uh wore in the movie he got game um and you know this is just that's denzel washington's character but just a just a great great uh shoe in my opinion all right we've got another um we've got another collaboration with ubic and Saucony on the dirty martini um i really like these i love olive green and these splashes of uh of orange this bright orange um really really uh set the shoe apart um obviously these are mimicking the uh colors of an of an olive um but this is just a really really great shoe great gum bottom 
um but the the grid 9000 is definitely a fun shoe in this and ubix take on it is uh is just phenomenal all right i've got another pair of yeezys um big fan of the lundmarks um just it's a shoe that really goes with everything um and we're gonna see a lot of uh we're gonna see a lot of yeezys going forward um that i can say that about um a lot of people still think the yeezys are are dead or dying or whatever just because the the market has basically just collapsed on them um but in my opinion i mean it's still a very fashionable shoe very sleek design it's like modern but like in the past <laughs> um i i mean you know, i think it's a great design uh i do think that that they are oversaturated in the market with with easy 350s um and i'd love to see another uh model come out soon i know we have the 380s um but uh yeah i still i still like these these are the lundmarks definitely still like these next i've got the uh gel light 3.1 um the super blue colorway or the gel fig um so i'm pleased with these um but i will say that the whoever whoever took the pictures of them for the advertisement and the and the promotion <laughs> definitely made these shoes look better than they do um I, I do like the shoe nonetheless i like this furry dusty looking suede um yeah just a, a really really fun shoe i did not get the jolly threes that released with these um i was definitely set on these um and i'm happy that i have them all right we've got the oldest pair of shoes in my collection well the, the pair that's been in my collection the longest um this is the first pair of shoes that i ever camped out for and the only pair of shoes that i will ever <laughs> camp out for um, i'm not about that life um that is the uh jordan 7 in the olympic colorway uh it came out in 2012 um yeah absolutely love having these in my collection they still look great for being eight years old um but this is the shoe that kind of like started it all um we're really pleased to have these i i camped out at patrick henry mall in newport news virginia for uh shoot it had to be it was definitely all night it was an all-nighter and um yeah I, I don't i don't plan on doing that again anytime soon <laughs> all right i've got a great pair from the two scoops pack from Saucony. um no collaboration just a, a very great general release from Saucony. um and they had all the details we had extra laces we had uh, a great uh insole in there um great branding we can see there on the tongue it's got two scoops um, I actually got both shoes, and we'll see the other one here in a little while. But this one is the, uh, I'm going to mess it up. I want to say G9 Shadow 5. It's got the, the Grid 9000 bottom and the Shadow 5000 upper. Let me look on the box real quick. Uh, G9 Shadow 5. Yeah, perfect. So, um, yeah, I really, really like this shoe. It's a fun shoe. Um, definitely been worn. Um, but I'm really looking forward to wearing it again uh, uh, this summertime. All right, uh, Space Jam uh, 11s um, in that, not the 2016 pair, this is the 09 pair. Um, and I love these. My, um, definitely my, my friend Coleman, um, he looked out for me on these again. Uh, like doing business with him. Um, and uh, this is just a really, really great great shoe um I, like i said before i like the lower patent leather cut I, I know that the other ones are more true to the originals and all that other stuff but i prefer this uh iteration of the 11 other uh, over the other ones all right we've got another pair of yeezys here the blue tint um these were at the time when they released the most uh the I should say the least rare I guess pair of Yeezys that came out and now they are one of the more rare pairs with all of the um, uh, restocks that have happened um, I really like this pair um, not really much to say about it interesting interesting colors um, but definitely been worn as you can see um, but just a really really fun pair all right we've got Puma um, Thunder Spectras 
Um, I got these when I thought that Puma was going to be pushing Adidas and Nike and giving them a run for their money. Um, and, you know, they were signing, uh, you know, second second pick in the NBA draft, Marvin Bagley. They were signing, I believe they signed DeAndre Ayton as well. And, you know, they were looking to really be making a big push forward. And these shoes I thought were, were part of that push now um, don't get me wrong like I think it's a it's a pretty cool shoe um, I like the colors I like you know the shape of it is definitely very interesting but um, I think I was a little too high on these um, because Puma has uh, you know not <laughs> lived up to my expectations my maybe my expectations were too high but um yeah i've got these they're they're a fine shoe they're okay but uh i mean you know you can still get these you can actually get these on concepts right now for for 50 percent off um so <laughs> i would uh you know if you're interested in these go ahead and check that out all right we've got a gel i5 from uh gel i5 from ronnie feig and um this is the cove colorway uh really really like these i had to hit them up earlier with a suede eraser and a suede brush a few days ago um, definitely been worn as you can see we got the fuzzies in there we got the the uh you know the tr the bottom definitely shows somewhere um midsole is <laughs> creasing but that's why we have these shoes you know to to wear them i really really like this pair it's a fun pair for the summertime all right next i've got a pair of uh dunk sbs um these are the de la soul uh pair um, I've had them for a while. I'm not going to pretend that I was into SBs growing up or like during their, during their, uh, their heyday. Um, I know they're coming back now. Um, but I'm a big, I'm a fan of De La Soul. I'm a fan of hip hop. So, um, I figured that these were a, a good pair to get back when you could still get, uh, regular SBs for <laughs> reasonable prices right now. They are skyrocketing for no reason. Um, and that's the the travis uh travis scott effect i guess um but still a fun shoe difficult to wear with all these um different colors this this green is not the most attractive green in the world um but still a, a great pair of uh of dunks in my opinion all right we've got a fun pair from kith um this is the pippin one in the chimera colorway a uh, really really fun shoe i love all the different animal prints on here um yeah just a, a fun shoe definitely been worn um a little bit chunkier um of a shoe or a bigger shoe than what i'm used to wearing in 2020 um but i can still i'll still make this thing work these are these are just phenomenal. I really, really like these. All right, a little bit ago, we talked about my um, my pair that's been in my collection the longest. Now we're going to talk about the actual oldest pair in my collection. Um, these are from 2006, the Old Love Ones. I know they look just like the Black Toes, um, but this is a mid Jordan instead of the high. Uh, and I know mids aren't popular, but this is the old love, and they came in a pack with the new love ones, um, which I do not have, and the new loves have retroed, um, I think a couple times since this pack came out. Um, but yeah, I've got the I've got the old loves. Um, I don't really have any interest in getting the new loves, um, but I do have these in the collection. All right, um, I've got a pair of uh, Atmos. Uh, Air Max Ones um, in this blue colorway. I do like these. Um, it's an original colorway, but then Atmos added this nice graphic around the entire shoe of Nike shoe boxes, and it's just a, a great, great, great shoe. Um, I would love to have the Air Max Ones in the regular white and blue colorway, but like every time I'm about to pull the trigger, something else catches my eye. You can actually still find these um, on Concepts. I just saw them yesterday as a part of their sale. Um, but uh, but yeah, these are a these are a fun shoe and great shoe. All right, we've got a Flyknit Presto Ultra Mid or something, <laughs> some combination of those words. Um, these released uh, for the Olympics in 2012. 
and I was definitely on the Presto train when they, uh, when Nike started coming back out with them, and now they seem to just fallen off the face of the earth. Uh, but you know, these are these are still a fun pair. You know, I might throw these on to, you know, I don't know. I'll figure out. I'll figure out a way to make these work. <laughs> Uh, and maybe they'll come back in style again because I need some acronym Prestos, but you know, same thing. It's it's tough wearing those in 2000 and 2020. Um, but yeah, still still a fun shoe. I was really pleased when I had them. Wore them wore them a lot when I had them. Uh, but just yeah, just a really fun shoe. All right, next I've got um, a collaboration between End and um, Asics. This is the wasabi pair. I really, really like these. Um, you know, this uh, the packaging was great. It's got the pink in there for the ginger. Um, it's got on the even on the footbed. Um, it's got a chopstick. That's a chopstick. It's a six and end. I love the branding. Um, but this is just a really, really great shoe. We've got the branding on the back as well for a six and end. Um, just a really, really great shoe. I love the goodies it came with. Um, we've got a dish to make your soy sauce in here with wasabi. We got chopsticks in here. We got extra laces. Um, but just a just a great shoe in my opinion. Great color on here. Uh, I really appreciate these.